everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a week of baked oats. So over a whole week I made seven different oat recipes, all baked all different like, you know, like fruity, sweet, chocolatey, whatever. And yeah, I'll let you guys see what I thought of the different oats. They were mostly from the same two like people, um, Trace's Oats and Dumbbells and Oats, both on Instagram and Trace also had a couple of, or had some recipes on TikTok that I used. And then there's just a couple of like outliers one of them being my own can i say i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you at the end of the video so the first oats that we're making are um crumble cookie inspired oats by trace i'll put all the like links to the recipes um oh, i'm spilling everywhere in the description box happy monday it's june 1st these are i think these are the german chocolate cookie oats i'm starting off by making some oat flour oats in a blender blend it up we've got our oat flour wow amazing wonderful i think i want to move you guys down actually and i'll show you just what i'm putting in the bowl our oat flour our baking powder maybe a pinch of salt and our cacao powder we're just gonna give that a stir i don't think this is actually that necessary you could probably just mix it all together, like add it all and then mix it, but we're gonna give it a little stir. And then we're gonna add our sweetener. You could use whatever. I think he uses maple syrup, but I'm using date syrup. And then our pumpkin. Lastly, our milk. I'm using soy milk. Um, oh, there's the other one. Use whatever you'd like. We're just gonna bake this for, I think it's like 20-ish minutes in the oven at 400. And I will check in with you guys in the meantime because I'm gonna make the like frosting topping thing. For the topping, we are going to be using, um, it's like a yogurt mix to make sort of like a frosting. He uses pudding mix in here, which I just do not have. But yeah, so we're just gonna mix two tablespoons of yogurt. I'm using this Kite Hill yogurt. Um, this is just like the plain unsweetened one. This yogurt's actually really good. We're just gonna add some pecans and some shred coconut. I'm just omitting the pudding mix, but I think actually if you wanted to include it but didn't have any pudding mix, I'm pretty sure you could just add a little bit of tapioca starch or cornstarch or something like that that would give the thickness it won't have the same flavor um so you could just use a flavored yogurt instead that would probably also work coconut i do realize that you cannot even see what's going on in there but there you go i'm gonna add our pecans pecans i don't i say pecan actually i say pecan but everybody tells me that's wrong so i say pecan let me know what you say in the comments below. I'm just gonna give that all a mix. And that is the topping for the oats. Done. All right, the oats are done. Here they are. They don't look exactly like his, but that's okay. The oats are out of the oven. So I'm just gonna put the topping on and then we should be good. Let's see if I can make this look somewhat nice. There we go. Guys, wait, it looks so cute. Hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you better. Look at her. Not gonna lie, kind of proud of this. I think it looks so good. See the little crackly top on the cake. And then I just added some more pecans on top because I think he did, oh, let's put my hand. Cause he did as well. And also it looks really cute, so yeah. Let's get a little texture shot here and then I'll do a taste test. So let's see. That looks so good. Okay, let's do a little taste test. This is, I got some of the topping, the oats. They're like a little bit gooey in the middle. You could definitely bake them a little bit shorter if you wanted to. Um, but let's see how they taste without burning them off. Mm -hmm. So good. The yogurt like topping's actually really nice because it adds a sort of like, what do you call that? Like 
tartness, like brightness to it. And the oats themselves, so good. Chocolatey, sweet, a little bit bitter, really dark, as you can see. I think I'll add more cocoa powder than you're supposed to, because I always do, because I like it really chocolatey. And then with the coconut and pecans on top with a little crunch, so good. I give this, I'll give it a good like eight out of 10. Really good. Hello everyone, happy, what day is it? Happy Wednesday, um, day two of our baked oats. Today I'm gonna be doing a, keeping it pretty basic, we're gonna be doing like milk and cookie type baked oats from um, Dumbbells and Oats on Instagram. <clears throat> and again, I'll have all the recipes like linked down below or the accounts that made them. I'm gonna make it in the blender today. Yesterday I just had the oat flour like pre-made and then mix it together. But today I'm gonna actually blend it um, with whole oats, which is usually just cause there's banana in it. I don't really want banana chunks. But yeah, I'll take you guys along. Right, so first we're adding our oats. You can't even see my face, but that doesn't matter. You're just gonna see what's going in the blender. I just have it, the little blender cup, our oats. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a serving of protein. I'm using the Vivo Life Ritual Vanilla Protein, favorite. Now this is optional, it says in the recipe, but I'm doing it because it's a nice taste. I'm going to add our banana. All right, and then just our plant milk. I'm using soy milk. You could use any plant milk you'd like. How many cups is 160 milliliters? 250 mils is one cup. So in half a cup is 125. And a quarter of a cup is... <coughs> Excuse me. It's like a heaped half of a cup. Let's go with that. Now we just blend her up. How cute. Also, do we like my outfit today? I think it's kind of really cute. You can't see this part of the skirt. Goes. Whoa. Eight, so there we go. Oats are in there. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a few chocolate chips on top. These have kind of a funky shape though, I'm not gonna lie, because they're like drops. Ta da! And into the oven. There you go. Here we have the oats out of the oven. So you can see a little chocolate melted. I'm glad I put that, that's cute. And I also did a little taste test of pistachio milk in my matcha. So I've got a little matcha alongside it. And I'm gonna go in and do a little texture and taste test for you guys. The most important part, the texture. Ooh, that is so nice. got that gooey part in the middle as you can see in there and then you've got like cakey fluffy on the sides and now for taste put that out of the way mm -hmm. there can't really like there's not really much to go wrong here it's just oats banana and your protein powder so basically if you like your protein powder you're probably gonna like this if you add it if you don't still delicious just like oats and banana and then the like a little bit of like bitter dark chocolate on top is really good honestly 10 out of 10 if you're looking for like simplicity and like something easy and quick otherwise like an 8 out of 10 7 and a half out of 10 no an 8 out of 10 because it's really good it's just like you know it's super basic simple and i will see y'all tomorrow um i just realized that i'm incompetent of <clears throat> at following a recipe or not really following a recipe, but at what, thank you, um, at what the whole concept of this was, which was milk and cookies. So there's supposed to be milk on top of this. I've had that in the past, it's delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend adding cold milk on top of your baked oats, it's really good. So just pretend that I added that on there. Still like in good, like eight out of 10, 10 out of 10 for simplicity though. Welcome to day three. Today we're making um, blueberry muffin baked oats and this is my own recipe, so I will also link it down below, but it's on my Instagram. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So we're just gonna add our oat flour, our baking powder, baking powder. Yes, I'm still in pajama pants also, don't come for me. Okay, pinch of salt and some cinnamon. 
that a quick little mix. Normally I would use applesauce in this, but I don't have any at the moment. So I'm just gonna mash up half of a banana and add that instead. All right, half of a banana has been mashed. That looks very unappetizing, but anyway, gonna add that in. Our plant milk. I'm using soy milk again. You could use any milk you like. I actually really like soy milk in this. For some reason, like the, these particular baked oats, I think are so good with soy milk. Um, I mean, they're good with any plant milk. I don't know. I usually tend to make these specific ones with soy milk if I have it on hand because it's really good. Then I'm just gonna add in some frozen blueberries. I'm gonna eyeball this. I, you can do like, honestly, as many or as few as you would like, but yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Like that many. And then I'm just gonna give this a stir. So it's all stirred up. It looks kind of a not so cute gray color, but that's all right. Now we're just gonna pop this in the oven for like, 20 minutes, I think, 25 minutes. Bye. Alrighty, blueberry muffin oats are out of the oven. This is what they look like. They have the little blueberries all up in there. All right, here, and these I know, like, I mean, I've made them a ton of times before. I They're pretty runny in the middle. So if you want them less runny, just bake them for longer in the oven. Um, and you can always do a lower temperature for a longer time as well if you want that, but. Mm. 10 out of 10. I also just want to show you guys like I went right in the middle to show you guys the texture but here in the edges you can see it's more like done and sort of like cakey so and that's kind of more what it would be like um, and the reason I I don't know I really like these with this one though because I do them like quite runny and so this one looks like really nice and creamy in there 10 out of 10, really nice for like a little bit more of like a fresher kind of one, like a fruity one, as opposed to like a chocolatey, super sweet one. And you can't, honestly, I use banana this time, but you can't really taste it that much and it adds a nice sweetness. I will see you for day four. Good morning, it's day four and we are making churro baked oats this morning. So I'm using the recipe from Dumbbells and Oats and Today I'm doing it again, mixing it in the bowl with the flour pre-blended. I don't know if you can see it back there. Um, but again, you can just do it in the blender if you'd like. There's just no banana or anything, so I don't really need to blend it all in the blender. Oh, I got a new phone. Can you tell? But I don't have a case for it or a screen protector, so I'm really worried about like putting it anywhere and using it in general. Oat flour going in. Baking powder goes in. I'm using the same yogurt I used earlier this week. It's just the Kite Funeral Plain Unsweetened. This honestly is like really, really good. And it's really thick like that. To add our milk. I'm using soy milk first. I only have a little bit left of it though. So then, you know, I'm use my Tash pistachio milk into the bowl we go. And I'm just gonna give this all a good mix. And then the best part, we're gonna add in the center, like the filling, whatever you wanna call that. This is like well mixed. You probably can't even see that, but it's mixed. I'm gonna get the filling. For the center, so the recipe calls for half of Alpro soy pudding thing. I don't live in the UK, so we don't have Alpro. So I'm using the um, Whole Foods 365 almond milk pudding. Am I pudding, 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 pudding yeah. in my breakfast? Yeah. Does it feel kind of weird? Yeah, it kind of does. You know what? I think it'll be good. If you don't have this, I think you could just use any, you know, like a chocolate spread. You're gonna not really see the bowl, but it's here. I'm just gonna plop in about half of this pot. I'm just gonna plop it in the center. So that's in the center, and then I'm just gonna spoon the batter over top so that it's completely like covered. All right, here are the oats all mixed. You can see them a little bit better now, so they're quite runny and the like filling kind of went a little bit all over, but anyway, I will see you when they're done. Okay, the oats are out of the oven. They look pretty cute, actually. Actually better than I thought they would. Top it with some cinnamon. Ta-da! Okay, 
Now, we'll go do the texture and taste test. It's the balancing test. All right, here we have the oats. Oh, I guess I should probably turn it around and show you the texture first. I'll do that, and then we'll do the taste test. So the pudding should be somewhere here in the middle. That's like, oh, that, like the chocolate filling. Here we go, we've got a bite with some of the chocolate pudding and some of the oats. Delicious. I mean, I mainly just taste the chocolate pudding, which is good, but the cinnamon on top actually like makes it like better. Really good. I definitely recommend, there's protein powder in the recipe, but I didn't use any in like the oats. I definitely recommend doing that for the flavor because it's literally just like oats and yogurt so there's like not really a lot of flavor but the cinnamon situation on top really helps and then also of course the like center but then if you were to use like vanilla protein or something that that would also be really good I made these again out of just a couple of things but i think it's a good like seven out of ten it's good though and i'll see you all tomorrow for day five Welcome to day five of baked oats. So to this one's a little bit different. We're gonna be doing monkey bread like baked oats things. So they're actually not even baked, like they're not in the oven. I just looked at that and I realized that they're not in the oven, but it's still like baked oats, I suppose. I'll show you guys what we do. It's a little bit more like you're making like a dough, forming into balls, and then I think we're gonna put in the microwave and then you get like the little, you know, like monkey breads kind of like sticks together in little balls. And I have in the recipe, it says we can optionally use like a scoop of protein and he uses like a snickerdoodle flavored one. So that obviously adds a lot of flavor to it, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna do it without. I'm expecting to be pretty plain though. So definitely use that if you have that. I wish I had like a different size bowl to do this in, but I don't, so. So we're gonna start with the banana. I have a leftover like really gross looking, but I promise it's totally fine. It's just leftover from earlier in the week from one of the other recipes. All right, the banana is all mashed up, as you can see. I'm, it's not like super duper pureed, but it's like pretty like smooth. And our oat flour, baking powder, salt. Give everything a little mix. It should form like a dough. Oh, I forgot there's supposed to be a tablespoon of plant milk in here. I was gonna say, it's looking like it's a bit dry. Now we give it a mix. It's pretty sticky. There's the dough. Okay, I don't really know how I'm supposed to shape this into balls. It's like really sticky. I mean, it was actually doing okay without the plant milk and then now it's quite sticky. Um, It's definitely just way too like sticky and runny. Like I feel like, honestly, like I was doing better without the plant milk and then I added the plant milk and out. Yeah, anyway, so these are like the little monkey bread balls that I've ended up with. Now I'm gonna pop it in the microwave and we'll see what happens. Okay, jokes, I lied. There needs to be some sugar that goes on top. In my mind, that was after, but he actually made the balls and rolled them in it. Clearly, we can't do that, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top, and I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Okay, that was a lot. I was gonna use it all, but there's still more, so I feel like I, anyway. Now it goes in my microwave. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of proud of how that turned out. Like, they look like, okay, they definitely should be, like, more and smaller, like, individual balls, but, like, that worked pretty well. Did it not for not being able to roll them into balls? I feel like that worked pretty well. Okay, now we'll do the texture and taste. Again, I think they're gonna be pretty plain while I'm trashing them, thank you. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, I don't really know how I'm supposed to show you the texture because they're just like, I hope they're like done. I feel like they're like, oh, they are, okay, okay. Oh, that's been nice actually. Like very like fluffy. All right, let's do the taste test thing. It's really good actually. Actually a lot better than I expected. I mean, it just tastes like sort of like banana oats, but it's pretty like light and like fluffy and the cinnamon sugar on top is really good. 
And definitely if you had the protein like I mentioned earlier, that would also be really good. It didn't really work for me making the balls, although it worked out better than I thought it would. But that's probably something, I don't know, I did. I don't really know. I give these like a good seven and a half out of 10. I would make it again, but it's also just like pretty simple and plain. And I feel like the effort of making it into like monkey bread. I mean, it's fun, but it's not something I do every day, you know? Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow for day six. And we only have two more recipes left. Good morning, everyone. It is the second to last day of our week of baked oats and we are making lemon drizzle baked oats today. This recipe is from a account on TikTok, so it's not like the other recipes have pretty much all been from like Trace's Oats or Dumbbells and Oats, both on Instagram. I mean, and on TikTok, but I got them on Instagram. Um, so this girl, I don't know, but the recipe looks really good and usually I don't go for like, there's a really cute dog walking by. Usually I don't go for like lemony things that often, but this just looks really good to me. So that's what we're gonna make. This one is a in the blender type one, not a oat flour in the mix type one. Up to you how you wanna do it as always. But yeah, let's get into it. Baking soda, not baking powder, which is unusual, but I guess it's because of the lemon in there. All right, baking soda, Some lemon, don't get the seeds in there because that's not going to taste good at all. Plant milk. Just seem to one and only Tash. Mmm. There we go. We blend. There we go. Plop it in our bowl. It's quite runny, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like... Yeah, you can. It's like really quite runny. Anyway, in the oven, it goes. All right, while the oats are in the oven, we're gonna make like the little drizzle for the top. So it's gonna be some lemon juice and maple syrup. What are we doing? Oh, and then fish out all the seeds that you got in there because you did it with one hand. Ta-da, lemon juice. Maple syrup. Give it a little mix. And that's like this sweet like lemon drizzle that's gonna go over the top once we get the oats out of the oven. Alright, I just took the oats out of the oven. They honestly look kind of really good. Like they look like a muffin top, like like all the like cracked bits. But they still seem pretty soft in the middle, but it's been like 40 minutes, so I don't want to wait any longer. It's a big boy. Like, whoa. Anyway, I'm gonna add the drizzle on top. Okay, okay, you know how it goes, texture then taste. It like, the drizzle already like soaked in like completely, like I don't know, or not completely, but like it's like just there in the middle, but in the sides it like completely soaked in. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh, very like fluffy, but still, you definitely could bake it for longer if you wanted and have it more done in the middle, but this looks so good. Oh, you can hear it. Okay, the drizzle on top is like really good. Like it's nice and like sour, but also like sweet. The oats themselves surprisingly are not that lemony. I feel like it definitely could have added more lemon. I was like thinking that it was a lot already, but it's really not that lemony. Okay, texture is really nice though. And so is the taste, not as lemony as I thought, but I could just, you could just add a little bit more lemon, but I really like them. Um, I'm gonna give them a, 8 out of 10. They taste really nice, but I would definitely add more lemon. I think maybe I just did like not a full half of a lemon, like it was maybe slightly less than half a lemon. So, but it also depends on how lemony you like things, but 8 out of 10. They did take, mm, you know what, I'm gonna knock it down to like a seven because they take like 40 minutes in the oven. So if you have the time and patience for it, like go for it. But most other baked oats I make only take like 15, 20 minutes. So do with that information what you will. 
but i'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day and we're having coffee cake i think okay update it tastes kind of eggy and i'm really confused as to why like not like as in like you're eating like an egg but as in like you know how french toast is like sweet and like bready but also has that little bit of like savoriness to it that's what i'm getting and i have no idea what it's coming from if anybody else tries this please let me know if that's just me i don't know what it is it's not bad it's just odd yeah this is the last day of baked oats and we're making coffee cake all right first we've got our oats as always half of a banana very ripe banana a pinch of cinnamon there is a measurement for it but i'm not measuring it salt some baking powder some milk and to start the show coffee now we blend Alrighty, it's blended. So I'm just pouring the bowl. Ooh, look at that color. I like that. Okay, that looks less than appetizing, but anyway. Uh, and it just looks like brown and not that cute, but it smells really good. So I'm really excited for this. And once the oven is ready, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then we'll make like the little, oh wait, I need to make the crumble topping for that one before. Oh my God. Cut, Never mind. Let's make a crumble topping. All right, so we're just gonna mix together some oat flour, some sweetener, and some cinnamon. All right, we're gonna give that a little stir, just so it's like evenly incorporated. And then add a tiny little dash of milk. Ooh, that much. Stir that together. All right, I mix it together. Now we've got this cute little clump of like crumble dough so i'm just gonna like break it up into pieces and put it on top of the oats and then i'll show you guys okay i added it on top honestly that looks kind of really cute and then i will check back with you when it's done out of the oven they look a little bit dark but i think that's just like because of the coffee um but they smell so so good okay let's do a little texture shot I think they might be a little bit runny in the middle, but I mean, I kind of like them that way. Oh, yeah. Okay. They could have done with a bit longer, but that's on me. That's on me. Oh, that looks, it smells so good, though. Okay. They, as you can see, definitely could have done with a little bit longer in the oven, but that's nothing to do with the recipe. That's just me. Mmm. That's really, really good. It's definitely like from the coffee, so if you like it sweeter, there is sweetener in the oats themselves, but definitely add like more if you don't like like bitter coffee, but I kind of like it. Like I love the taste of coffee, so these are like a good eight and a half out of 10, honestly. Really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it was so much fun to film, honestly. I love oats and I eat them every day anyway, so I thought why not try a different baked oats recipe, kind of switch things up. And my favorite was probably the crumble cookie inspired oats or the blueberry oats. I don't know. I like the blueberry oats a lot. I mean, I made them myself. I make them all the time. They're delicious. Um, and I like anything chocolate, hence why I like the crumble cookie ones. But the coffee cake was also pretty good. It just needed to be baked for like five to ten minutes longer. <laughs> anyway, if you guys try any of these recipes yourselves, let me know down in the comments below. They're all linked below, all the recipes and who made them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>